I'm going to show you a little bit here on the map um, where New York City and New Jersey and Philadelphia's water comes from. What you have up here in the green area, that's the New York City watershed. It's supposedly a protected area, although all of this area on the map that you see here is slated for gas drilling. The green and white areas you see on the map, that's the New York City watershed and the Delaware River Basin. Altogether, the combined watershed supplies water to 15.6 million people. 6.8 million in New York City, 5.4 million in Pennsylvania, 700,000 in Delaware, and 2.9 in New Jersey. It's the largest unfiltered water supply in the world. The reservoirs were created 100 years ago. Industry has leased hundreds of thousands of acres within the New York City watershed and the Delaware River Basin. That could mean 50,000 gas wells in the combined watershed area. As of spring 2010, there is no drilling in the New York City watershed or the Delaware River Basin. But that could change any day now. When we look at other planets in the solar system, what are we looking to find? Water. Now, it's not going to be good as New York City tap water, but you're looking on Mars for water, and everyone has these great discussions because it's all about water. I've been, you know, with this committee for the last 18 years. I was the environmental policy advisor for the uh, city council for many, many years. I'm a trained geologist, and, and, and I didn't come all this way and grow all this much older and get this much fatter, you know, just to see everything, like, go away. And the whole notion that, 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 like, adults could sit around a table and try to figure out how we can do this kind of activity inside an unfiltered water supply and make it all work is, uh, is, 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 is just... How many times do you go into a restaurant and they say, do you want bottled water or tap water? I don't think I've had dinner with somebody in the last 20 years who said, oh, I like the bottled water. People go to a restaurant because they get to have the tap water. It, it, it's beyond ludicrous. People look forward to it. It's part of their dining experience. I'm trying to you know, keep myself composed, but speaking as a geologist, as an environmental scientist, as a policymaker, this is insanity. And that makes this the number one environmental crisis that we face in the city. Although thousands showed up at public comment sessions, the state's Department of Environmental Conservation was unresponsive. There were hours and hours of hearings at City Hall. New York City must rely on the New York State DEC, but there's a real question of whether the agency is up to the job. DEC has not proposed a single new regulation. I look at it as our watershed system as our holy grail. But no one from the state's Department of Environmental Conservation came to the city's hearings. I want to direct staff to put a call in the DEC Region 2 and to say that all these people are still in the room and we want someone from DEC in the room. There were even press conferences with no press. It would be nice to have reporters today. We don't have them. Maybe this story is not sexy enough. Maybe it's not important enough. Maybe the drinking water supply for 9 million people, it doesn't quite get people's attention. Where's the press? They're right in there. They're in the press room. They're in the press room. You know what to do in press conference with no press.